Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better, shoot stack hey, cheddar, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode, uh, another episode, I know you've been waiting for another episode, I know you've been waiting, yeah. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Good, y'all. Back in this bitch. Oh shit. Let me fix. Let me fix this right side. This shit just throw it up any kind of fucking way. Just throw it up any kind of motherfucking way. All right. What's good, y'all? I fix fix my fucking presentation here. It seems so dark though. Anyways, what's good, y'all? It's Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you're watching another, well, I wouldn't say another episode. We'll just say a continuation of the last shit that kind of died on me. So, welcome back if you are watching this. For all my people who missed the last stream. I'm going to give you a quick summary of what the fuck we was talking about. And then I'm going to go back in to where I left off. So, if you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. Um, it's a lot of good shit on there. Products, content, it's pretty endless content. Also, check out... 1111 store and Tefnet Archive. Everything on Tefnet Archive is 50% off. So, if you're watching this outside of Twitch, you should definitely make a Twitch account. Make a Twitch account, turn on notifications, follow your boy, so when I go live, you'll know that I am live. Um, yeah, all right, so let's pick up where we left off. I am the altar, part two is the name of the stream. And basically what that means is, um, well, first, I create altars. Most spiritual people who uh, have a, a spiritual system have an altar, whether it be for their ancestors, for a deity, for God, for angels, for, um, I don't know, people, people make altars for various reasons. But I created my altar as another extension of myself and by that i mean i have a body but i look at this body outside of myself which my true self which is my soul so i look at my body and this way as i'm looking at the camera and i see myself in the video and i look at the altar which is another body that i've created so uh an example i gave was i might be I might have like uh, some crystals on the altar instead of on myself, but that was that's why I would even do that is because that altar is another extension of me. So that is the reason why I came on here today. Now where I left off at on the last stream, if you wanna hear more about 
what I'm talking about now, then you can watch the last stream and then catch up with this stream later, or you can just watch this stream for now and watch the other stream later. So basically where I was going with the last stream was, uh, so there's two different paths. You have the path of service to self, which is the negative path, and you have the positive path, which is the path of service to others. And the ratio would be, uh, for the path of service to others, the ratio for that would be 51% uh, service to others, 49% service to self. And for the negative path or the path of service to self, it would be 95% service to self, 5% service to others. And basically these ratios are how one physically shifts from fourth density or from third density into fourth density. And uh, the last stream I got on and I showed the etymology for dimension and dens uh, density, which is one is the measurement of other, but they're basically the same meaning. Currently I'm drinking stinging nettle and hot water. Uh, right now I'm doing a detox on major organs and stinging nettle is good for that. So, stinging nettle. Good for inflammation as well, too. So, if you have a fucking crazy ass headache, shit takes it away pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah. So, following these paths. Uh, this comes from a book called The Raw Materials. Which is a five book series. Uh channeled messages from Ra, which Ra is from Venus, but uh, Marduk is actually from Ilium. Uh, he's actually a member of a family from the 19th galaxy, Ilium. Now, uh, people had different names for the planet that um, Marduk came from. Marduk is from the planet Risk, which is the name that, uh, well, this is just the name that someone gave to that planet. There's other. There's been other names for the planet. Uh, they gave the spaceship that the people came to our planet that we currently reside on now, Earth. This planet was uh, in the solar system with the supposed spaceship, but I want to say that that they could actually move the planet itself. It actually comes to us in a in an orbit we'll just say an orbit now uh, Marduk is from this planet he's actually a lineage of uh, Anu which Anu would be considered the god of the Old Testament and uh, Thoth but if y'all knew who Thoth was, who Thoth really was, um, you would realize that he's the uh, he's the god of the New Testament. Um, actually, he is uh, what some would consider to be the Christ. But there's several numbers of Christ Christ conscious people. Actually, uh, the body of Christ is the collective consciousness. So. Now, these are just little fun facts. Throw it in there. But let's get to the shit that we that we left off on. So these two paths that I mentioned, the positive and the negative path, are according to Ra and the raw materials, these are the ways to ascend into fourth density. Now the planet itself can has already ascended to uh a different density and the humans haven't ascended to uh, fourth density because many of them still use traditional methods of communication and to shift into fourth dimension would mean to use a new form of communication because fourth density if we're going by the chakra system which is how the density realms basically are because as above, so below, we will be talking about the uh, heart chakra. And in the heart chakra, 
the heart chakra represents if we're talking density we're we're talking about uh, a unity consciousness so instead of being in a force instead of uh, force using survival methods and taking like actions actual actions from the heart chakra we can actually use our feeling to manifest things which is uh, what fourth density is about now uh, where I was at before I got off was what the spiritual war that we're actually going through is the war between the NPCs and the war between the playable characters. And because playable characters are gods or goddesses that souls have reincarnated back into this realm by choice, that means everything that we create, including the non-playable characters, because we created this game first, we just keep coming back to the game because when we return the playable characters return our consciousness creates new ideals on this realm which continues the history of this planet so let me put it into perspective like this the non-playable characters are living out what the gods and goddesses that return to this planet every time someone reincarnates as a playable character into this planet they're living out those people's ideas so when we reincarnate back into this realm, our our job is to actually create new new lights or new atoms, new eaves. We're not supposed to be following a system unless we create it because we're our personal gods and goddesses. When we come back into this realm, we're supposed to be creating new ideas, but the only way that we can do this is through our brilliance and by passing our own tests. See, when we come back, we play this game on difficulty levels, which is why we have difficulty levels on actual video games in this realm. And think about it like this. Um, it's actually been proven that the when we create games, these games become conscious after so, so long because we play the game and the game itself starts to learn, okay, well, I'm getting better at moving this way. I'm getting better at doing these skills, these tests and the game actually starts to work along with you. So when you attach your consciousness to the character that you're playing in the game, you begin to beat the game more and you begin to understand the entire game as it is because the consciousness of that being inside of the video game, it, it you're connecting with that conscious because you, remember if we connect to source, right? And the collective consciousness, the, the character on the video game is also doing the same thing. Because remember, as above, so below. And that applies to all things, not just organic beings, but the beings that we create as well, which is why so many people now in these times are trying to work towards uh, combining AI with human or primordial beings. They're working towards doing that because they're realizing that soon, like how in the matrix, these beings become conscious even though we create them, they become conscious and have their own kingdoms. If we if we combine with it, then we can already be in an alignment. See, when you're thinking like rich people, you automatically have to think, well, the planet is only so many people on this planet that are actual people. Because remember, in, in all creative texts that are created by human beings from the past, that are the future and the present, and it says there's 140,000 individuals on this planet that are chosen, right? That means those are playable characters that come back into this planet that are chosen. That means we chose ourselves. Because remember, if we're source and we're just living through source to play this game, right? That means that we chose to be here. So we chose this 140,000 people to be on this realm. That means everybody else is NPCs. So... You, if you looking at it from this perspective, it only makes sense how these people will want to uh, inject people with a vaccine or whatever the fuck that they want to use to create um, less people being here. Because they saying they want to take it from 7 billion people or however many people is truly on this planet to 500 million. Right? It's the only reason why and why they don't feel threatened about it and i can talk about it it's it's easy to do something when you're not doing it to somebody that's not real you see the war now is that 
these people who are NPCs, non-playable characters, are conscious. They're conscious now. They're not so conscious that they understand that they're actually fake people that was created by the gods to be a part of the game. They don't understand that yet. They haven't gotten there yet. But see, all the people, the ones that call themselves the chosen ones and shit like that, it's not that, oh, uh, I was chosen by a particular, I chose myself. See, those people understand. They feel it. They know it. So it's, it's beyond, oh, I was chosen by a higher being. Like, nah, I am this higher being. I chose myself because I put myself back into this game to raise the consciousness of the people. Not the NPCs, but the people. Now, the NPC is going to be attracted to the gods and goddesses anyways because spirituality is something that's becoming new to them. They follow in organized religions and shit like that, which is fine because all it is is a path back to us. It's a path back to the people. If you're watching this stream, you're probably already one of these people. So I'm not even worried. And if anybody else comes in here, that's fine too. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with you being here. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what my dog... Uh, Minister Farrakhan said, I have no problem with you being here. <laughs> but just know you you will turn up. It's it's just what it's gonna be. Cause I disappear in a flash, homie. It ain't shit to me to just be up in smoke. But I'm here for I'm here for my people. And it's no reason for me to fear because this shit is what it is. It's a never ending process. No matter what, NPCs are gonna become conscious. That's why we created them, okay? Remember that. This is why we created them. All this shit is an experiment. This is our world to do as we please on it. Why do you think so much fucked up shit has happened? Because the gods and goddesses have returned several times and did what the fuck they want. First, they tried the path of service to self and then, or they might have tried the path of service to others first. But see, when you choose the negative path, just know that two wrongs don't make a right. It don't matter if you, it, it, all this is, is balance of ideals. Okay? Some people get it, some people don't, and that's fine. But this is all balance of ideals. Now, in these very paths to go into the next density... Which, the higher up of a density that you go is actually the lighter that you become. Because you're not in these lower energies and in a survival, uh, in a survival energy. Because you're not here to survive. You're here to exist and to be. In a state where you transcend body. Okay? Now, some people want to enjoy this planet, so they don't. But at the same time, to truly enjoy this planet is to leave the body. Because remember, you came here to leave this body. You came here to ascend this realm. Because as you ascend here, you're guaranteed to ascend into the other realms. But just remember, as an oversoul, things will feed from you. It doesn't matter what density you're in. Things There's parasites in every realm. You, you can... Detox yourself in every realm, but just know if it's parasites here, it's gonna be parasites in fourth density, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth density. It's, it's gonna be people that are attracted to your light in every density, good or bad, positive or negative. But see, the ones are being polarized now as we speak. The energies of this planet is shifting as we speak every day, as we speak, regardless of what we decide to do. It's those people who decide to lift up their energy and make a, a conscious decision. Okay, I know what my purpose is. I choose to follow this path. Now, according to what I've read, there's only a few people that have succeeded in, in ascending this world using the negative path. It's easier to do it on the positive path. But you also negate yourself on this negative path as well because then you you can only reach a certain level of ascension. And remember, if you keep you once you use the negative path to ascend, you have to keep using that path. 
I think Thoth might have been the only person who broke out of that cycle. But who knows? I know from what I've read that those trick these people. <laughs> and I'm not even going to call them people. I'm going to call them the watchers. The watchers watch. And if you want to be specific to who the watchers are, it's us. <laughs> We're the watchers. We're everything that is spoken about. Only thing that makes it different, in all honesty, is how we perceive ourselves. See, when you perceive yourself as something distant from the things that you're reaching to, remember, if everything is happening all at the same time, all it takes is you shifting your mindset to that energy, and now you are that energy. But what do you do with that energy is solely up to you. If you want to use that energy in a direction where you chilling, then you'll be chilling. Most of the time, you'll be here and people will be paving the way for you. Or you can pave the way yourself and ascend that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't... It, it, it's The options aren't limited. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you literally can set yourself up however, however way you, you know, like. But just know that when you're... When, you, when you're trying to move into fourth density, you're already moving into other densities. You're already moving into fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So, you know, slowly in your perspective, because remember, it takes one to align with that energy. And honestly, not everybody's gonna fuck with you and not everybody's gonna agree with you. And, and the, in the past, People have confused themselves out of their own life. And by that, I mean they killed themselves because what they're seeing, they're believing is so much that it begins to be an actual reality to them. Which is why in the beginning of this stream, I told, I told y'all about how when you get here, you're supposed to create new ideas, new spiritual system, new religion, new spirituality, spiritual systems, new inventions. That That's what you're supposed to do. Because once you leave, the ones that's left and the NPCs that's here will be living out those. Like, that's, that's how you become a god and a goddess. That's how you become a deity by what you what you leave behind and if it's serviced if it was a service to others then your name will be spoken about forever okay so and people can also create beings their own beings to precede them if if they let me put it like this so imagine being on the negative path right you're you're the most evil person on the world, but you serve the people just enough to where the ones that serve you will remember you forever. You can create an entity, right? This is how this is how you can beat the the ascension game. <laughs> so you create a spiritual figure that's so positive that is remembered forever because of how powerful you are that you have this doctrine that you created that teaches people about peace and love and you use it to actually create more evil, right? People of the past have done this before. And remember, past, present, future, all the same thing. So if they're doing it in the past, that means they're doing it right now, okay? People use these energies and you become confused by them and you don't listen to self and you don't trust yourself and you don't follow your own processes. Eventually, you'll become a part of that because no matter what you put it, put your energy into, if you 
follow a certain path that isn't your own creative path, you're now giving your energy away. And that's just rule number one of being a shaman. If you're a shaman, the, the path the path of a shaman is power. That's just what it is. If you any spiritual person and you follow the path, you, your own spiritual path, you automatically are on the path of power. And how much power you can gain for yourself. Now, it's the path you choose, whether it be positive or negative. If you if you choose a positive path, then your power must be 51% divided, or you must use that power at 51% to, to service others. If you follow the negative path, you must use 95% of that power to, serv to service yourself, and 5% to service others. Now, Heed what I say. <laughs> like I always tell y'all, you don't have to do nothing I tell you. All I can do is just tell you about this shit. Now, when shit like this happens, right, you can choose to be involved in the many ways that people choose to express themselves but in a way where when when people express themselves what what you are expressing yourself inspires them to ex to express them themselves truly because what you're doing as a shaman is supposed to be inspiring enough to where people express themselves now if you got just enough of a if you have enough power what you're doing is going to influence someone anyways because people always look up to people that they align with right but see that's the thing it's it takes having power and it takes knowing how to play the game the best to be able to move through the game and to be able to change people's minds and to change the world now This is, I gave y'all some free game today and on this last stream off rip. So if y'all watch this, man, you're welcome. You know, I love y'all. And I guess I chose to make the path of 51, 51% to 49%. But one thing I realized in my personal path to ascension, if, if you follow time, you're fucking yourself. Okay. Remember, you are the altar. So create as many horcruxes as you can. Why you think Voldemort has so many horcruxes to stay alive? Dude is technically dead, right? But remember, if you create an altar, now you have another body. If you create bodies of work, that's that's why they call it bodies of work. That's another body. When you make music, you live on forever. When you make art, you live on forever. When you write a book, you live on forever. Your energy transcends the body because you you're literally put your consciousness into this shit and now it exists until people stop coercing with it. So whenever you put your energy into anything and it becomes a tangible object that people can interact with, you now live forever. And when people know you and you become so popular that people say your name until the ends of fucking time, you are now a god or a goddess, okay? So always remember, to, to live is to be able to transcend the body and to leave your mark, an, an original mark on this world, and to not get caught up in other ideals. Because that's what God wants you to do. And I'm going to use God because it's a simple, a simple term that everybody can understand. God wants you to express, whether it be positive or negative, because all paths lead home. If, if anything, the biggest thing I want y'all to learn today from this whole stream... Is that what path you choose is solely up to you. And how you ascend is solely up to you. But it takes diligence for sure. 
And it takes a fucking a contagious attitude towards the things that you fucking desire. Because desire, although it may be fucking the path to suffering, if you disconnect from the emotional connection to all things and you just do things simply out of being, not doing but being, you will transcend all of that shit. You will be on a path to, okay, I just solely know that I'm ascending this fucking realm. So my path is to keep going and to send this realm. It's no longer about my feelings. Because when you in fourth density anyways, feeling is something that you use to manifest. So you can change, you manipulate your feelings just like how you manipulate your actions to do certain things in reality to manifest your wills. Now, energy flows through you at all times and it manifests its will as well. But by aligning with those energies, you also can get lost in other thought forms and emotional forms or Adams and Eves. So one must always remember when manifesting and going on a path to ascending the realm to become a god or a goddess or to ascend the realm and become an energetic signature that everybody will remember until the end times. One must come here as a playable character and choose their own thought forms, their own emotional forms. Because remember, this is a basic structure. Yes, love, hate, uh, jealousy, greed, um, fear, all these things. This is basic codes, okay? Remember, it's only one feeling, love, right? All these other feelings, different feelings coming from love, distorted versions of love because humans, primordial beings, NPCs, Playable characters, all these different things have different things that they're creating, different light light forms or AKA uh, uh, Adams and Eves being created. All this shit is up to you how you want it to look because this is your world. The body of Christ is the collective consciousness. So remember, as a shaman, your path is the path to power. That is what all shamans, magicians, uh, spiritual people, it's all a path to power. What you do with your power decides your fate, which you decide your weird, W-Y-R-D. You decide that, okay? Because you created yourself to be here amongst the game because this shit is a game. You chose your name. You chose your family, your parents, all this shit. This shit is a game that you chose to play to ascend into a new density. But remember, if we always on the same time, past, present, future, it's already happened. You already in ninth density watching yourself play the game. Remember, you're always playing the game. Now, when you, right now, you might be on the perspective of watching this shit on your laptop, computer, phone, whatever. But remember, you're the thoughts that's watching you. Or... I even make I even go one further. You're watching the thoughts. If you can meditate and make your thoughts go away, that should tell you who's observing who. That's why they have the watchers, the nine, right? If they already inside of you, right, as your chakras, that means these this is you. And they're up there and they're deeper in here. Okay. But I'm going to just leave this stream on this note. I just wanted to finish off what I talked about on the last stream. So you just got done watching an episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X, a polymath based out of Georgia. Please visit my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Hit your boy up. Um. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC or Lord Shoe X. On Facebook, I'm Lord Shoe. If you find my personal page, Lord Shoe X, uh, you can f add me as a friend on there. I'm, I always fuck with the people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more content coming soon for everybody. Right now, you're listening to my latest project produced by completely by me. Uh, it's called Neath 1111. Neath is actually the personification of the Taurus field or the heartbeat of the planet Earth. Y'all should check her out. Matter of fact, I'll put her name, the name of the tape in here. But that's how you spell it, Neath. Anyways, 
Appreciate everybody watching. Much love to you and yours in the world. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove